Hello everybody, um, I'm a big fan of My Hero Academia and I did this drawing yesterday uh, and I wanted to make a video just to show how my thought process was in doing so and, and just sharing a bit for someone who is a bit curious about it and yeah, let's go so here there's the finished drawing uh, just red drawer nice and here you can see uh, I think I did is more like a sketch drawing but well uh, here's the final product so let's go to the beginning uh, I started with this uh, I was trying to figure out the pose I would like I was just drawing around I did this shape I liked it like for the leg getting these calves um, I was thinking how to make this part and my my goal was trying to make like a I was thinking at this phase not to draw Midoriya like the model or anything I just wanted to show a really cool pose what I wanted to do with the drawing is to show him doing something like a big performance, not not the intellectual or or the even a bit down Midoriya we, we see sometimes uh, when he's just walking around and doing stuff, but more li of like the hero Midoriya, when he's really doing his best, uh, showing like all his power. I, that's what that was what inspired me to, to do this. So yeah, I was trying to look for a pose that show him, show him at his like peak. Uh, I was looking for like a strong, solid foundation first, and also, also like something that that flows. The arm also like basically going here so yeah that, this is was this was what I was looking for uh, then I did this here uh, it's just like a rough like more like Midoriya like uh, drawing I was trying to see how his outfit will look and all the stuff, just the basics, getting getting this like his hoodie looking right, uh, how how it will flow with the with the rest of the pose, the foot, getting a bit of contrast in here, the shape, um, the same thing here, getting the eyes like also looking that way. And doing like twist in the torso to get a bit more contrast. The torso is looking this way, and the head looking this way. So you get this nice twist since his hips are facing this way too. So like his chest is twisted around, and his hips are facing the action. Uh, same with his head, he's looking at, at this. Uh, I was trying to get some tension here. Uh, not just like a fist normally like that, but more of like he's really doing tension in here, you can see it. Uh, then I did this one. I was just um, looking for st starting to get something to work on. Uh, I liked it. I like how it look. Um, I just thought that I did the head a bit too small. Looks it's like like a bit tiny. I wanted to do like big legs. Uh, even if it wasn't like exactly the the 
the length but I like to like to sh I, I wanted to make like a big leg to show to really show like how strong it was and also like I like for example gorillas how they have like long long legs and yeah I, I just like that so it was just my style here I, I did more detail here put his all his like things that are in here like his whole suite um, his hair um, and yeah the shoulder here trying to get some anatomy here at least I was trying you know. <laughs> then um, this is my first one uh, here on the second one it's just the same thing I use scale to cure and just scale it up with the tool and make it a bit bigger to match the rest of the drawing I think it looks fine and so yeah I went for it and next one here is like um, more complicated uh, advancement I use added like a dark background then one layer is for the colors the next one is like for shadows but I added this later just like I like to put shadows um, the end even if it's a sketch they are not the greatest but I like it, for example, I just pick the color, I just select the color I want to do the shadow and, and go to here, for example, let's see, I just pick it and if I want to do the shadow, I just move it up here, like a bit, test it out and see if it matches like the object I really didn't, like, know I really don't know how to do it like properly, I'm not an expert at this. I just, I'm self-taught when it comes to the drawings, but I think it feels right to do something like that. Uh, same with the rest of the colors, if I pick green, uh, let's go a bit up, and you can see like it feels like the shadow of this green, so I think it looks nice. Uh, on this instance I wanted to make the shadow coming from here I mean the light will be coming from here and and that's why the shadows are like here these parts and, and I try to do like some highlights like from the light on the other side like on, the, on his hair here here is a bit more clear same here it still needs some work still then the next one is just the I did this with black the black pencil normal one then this is for the like the little lightning I was just like vibrating because if not I couldn't get the shapes right so I just vibrate a bit with my pen if it didn't look like I wanted I just delete it and vibrate again <laughs> it was a bit of trial and error then here is just these lines and the highlights here here I really like how this end up looking just trying to put more light uh, colors here and then fading to, to more darker ones but still making it like a light uh, kick you know lightning kick and this is your like some lines I want wanted to draw like I like it in that's part of my style I think. Uh, here what is it? Uh, and 
I thought it was important to put some like green on his eyes here to to show I think that they on the show put more like his eyes glow brighter when it's when he's showing like the one for all. Same with All Might. I think that it's like a conscious decision they make. For example even in the When he loses, spo oh, I mean, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, you can pause. Okay, I'll go on. When, when, I hope you're not watching if you're, if you haven't seen the anime. <laughs> uh, when he loses uh, one for all, um, you can see his eyes not, like they are all black, like All Might has, like his eyes. They are all black, and they they just glow a little bit because his eyes are blue. But it's very different from when he still has the power. So I tried to add that the lights there, and and yeah, these are I I just looked up some pictures of Deku to to have his like, correctly have the outfit and see, or at least see having the outfit uh, the everything's matches the colors just to get a, an idea I didn't like copy it full but I just use it as, as a base and finally this is the final one uh, it's basically the same as the last one. Let's see. He just has some fixes, like I, I put more lights in his hair. Added some lights in here, here a bit, like to this side, like the one he's facing the light, uh, and fix these ones. I I made them wrong before. And also fix the, you can see here, the armor in his leg. It was different from, from this one. I wasn't really paying much attention. But there it is. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's, that was my process going through it. I had a lot of fun doing it. And I hope you find this interesting uh, thanks for watching and have an awesome day take care everyone